<clears throat> okay. Now see. I'm sharing the screen. Okay. This is our first math we will be talking about. Uh, for the series diode configuration in figure, find VD, VD, VR, and ID. So this is the circuit. This is the series circuit. Here, here you have a battery. Uh, you have a silicon diode and you have a resistor. The battery is 8 volt, the silicon diode is silicon diode and that is forward bias and this is the resistor that is 2.2 kilo ohm. Okay, if I zoom in, if I zoom in a bit, you will see. Here, yeah, this is the picture. Here you can see uh, it, it, this is forward bias because the from the battery the current will go in this way, right? ID. This is the ID because the, that is the uh, that is the diode current. That is also the resistor current IR because this is a series resist uh, series circuit, so the current will remain same. ID and IR they will remain same. So the uh, silicon diode is forward bias. How do I know that? Because the current from the battery is coming from this way from plus, and it will enter the plus of the diode. This is forward bias. Uh, here, for the series diode configuration in the figure, determine VD, VR, and ID. You have to determine VD, that means the voltage of the diode, VR. And the current of the diode, right? Now see, from here, we all know the silicon diode takes 0 0.7 volt if it is on. Since the applied voltage is established as a current clockwise direction, so the match the arrow, the symbol of the diode is on state. So from here we can understand, since the current is going in the clockwise direction, that means this direction, so the diode is in forward bias, so the diode is on. If the diode is on, silicon diode takes 0 0.7 volt. So your VD should be around 0 0.7 volt. Now, in practice, uh, it is around 0 0.7, not exactly 0 0.7. We will see, we will see that, the, but uh, approximately is, it is 0 0.7. Now, if it is 0 0.7, if this voltage is 0 0.7, then how much is this volt? That means how much is VR? VR should be 8 minus 0 0.7 because your total voltage is 8, 0 0.7 is So from 8, this is 0 0.7. So the rest of the voltage will be here. So 8 minus 0 0.7, it should be 7.3, right? It should be 7.3. Now, how do I know what will be my current? Our current should be here, according to the Ohm's law, here the resistance is 2.2. Here the voltage is uh, 7.3. So 7.3 divided by 2.2, that means V divided by R is equal to I. V is 7.3. R is 2.2. If you divide them, we got 7.3 divided by 2.2. Our voltage will be our current will be 3.32 milliampere. Why milli? Because it is in voltage and it is in kilo ohm. So voltage divided by kilo ohm should be milliampere. So that is our three components that we have found. Now let's see these in the proteus. That means Okay, my current connection is uh, unstable. It is um, making some problem. Okay, let's see the simulation. This is the simulation. That means here you have a battery that is eight volt. Here you have a diode that is silicon diode. Here you have a resistor that is uh, 2.2 kilo ohm. Here I put a voltage meter to find the voltage of the diode. I put another voltage meter or voltmeter to find the voltage of the uh, resistance. And I put an emitter in series to know the current and the emitter is in milliampere. Now let's run the simulation. 
Okay. You will see your diode voltage is 0 0.74, not 0 0.7, because I told you 0 0.7 is approximately theoretical. In practical, you will see uh, around 0 0.7, that means near 0 0.7. So it's okay, 0 0.74. So your diode will take 0 0.74. So your battery minus 0 0.74 will be 7.26. That will be your resistance voltage, that is VR. So this is VD, this is VR. So this voltage is VR. This voltage is VD. So VD is 0 0.74 and VR is 7.26. So if we find the current 7.26 divided by 2.2, your current will be 3.3. But uh, let's, let's uh, what is that? Uh, let's compare these with the actual result we got. This is 0 0.7, this is 7.3. That one is 3.32, right? 0 0.7, 7.3, 3.32. Let's check again. 0 0.74, 7.26. Because it is a bit more, so it will be a bit less. And your current is almost same. 3.32, now it is 3.3. So we got our result, right? So our circuit is all right. Now let's uh, see the next map. In the next map, say it. Repeat the example, repeat the example with the diode reverse. That, that means we have to repeat the example with the diode reverse. Diode reverse means this diode will be reversed. This diode will be upside, not upside down, uh, it will be flipped. So the negative part will come here, the positive part will come here. So it will be reverse bias. See, if it is reverse bias, there will be no current flow, right? If it is reverse, okay, somebody wants to come. Stop share. Now, if it is reverse bias, there will be no current flow, right? If there is no current flow, we can consider this as an open circuit. Open circuit. If there is no current flow, we can consider it as an open circuit. So open circuit means there will be no current flow. I is equal to zero. Here you can see I is equal to zero. Here they said all uh, they said the same thing. Uh, it will be it will be open like an open circuit, no matter which model is in, employed. The result network and the uh, result network of the figure uh, 2.14. The ID is equal to zero because current will be zero because it is open circuit. Since VR is equal to I into R. Now what is what should be the VR? What should, what should be the VR? Because according to the Ohm's law, we know V is equal to I R. If your I is equal to zero and R is equal to 2.2, if you multiply So according to the Ohm's law, the VR, the voltage of the resistance should be I into R. V is equal to I R. Here your I is equal to zero because the circuit is open. There is no current because uh, in reverse bias, the silicon do not allow any current, do not allow. So your I is equal to zero and your R is equal to 2.2. So your VR should be zero into 2.2, that means zero volt. So if it is zero volt, if this is zero volt, what should be these? What should be the VD? Remember, if we apply a KVL, KVL means Kirchhoff voltage law. If we apply a KVL, then 8 minus VD minus VR should be 0. So E minus VD minus VR should be 0, right? Now here E is equal to 8 volt. Your VR is 0 volt. What about your VD? Let's find out. So take the VD in that way. So VD is equal to E minus VR. So your E is 8 volt. Your VR is 0 volt your E minus zero is equal to eight volt. So your VD is eight volt, right? So your VD is eight volt. This voltage is zero volt and the current should be zero ampere. Let's check it in the simulation. This is our simulation. Uh, let's go back here. This is our next simulation. Here you can see the diode is reverse. That's why there is no current. 
and there is there is no voltage here zero volt zero ampere the all the voltages will come and situated at, uh, uh, all the voltages will come and uh, sit across the diode this is 8 volt right this is 8 amp uh, this is 8 volt the whole voltage will go and sit across the diode 8 volt right so this is this is verified we got it verified now the next math let's go to the next math not this one Yeah, this one. This math. They said for the series diode configuration of figure 2.16. 2.16 means this, uh, this is the uh, uh, figure. Uh, for the series diode configuration of figure 2.16, determine VD, VR, and IB. <clears throat> we have to find out the voltage of the diode. We have to find out the voltage of the resistance. And we have to find out the current. VD means voltage of the diode, VR means voltage of the resistance, and ID means the current of the diode. That means the whole current actually. So here the voltage is given 0 0.1, uh, 0 0.5 volt. Before the diode, the voltage is 0 0.5 volt. Now remember, for silicon diode, it takes 0 0.7 volt. Now if you give less than 0 0.7 volt, that means 0 0.5 volt, there will be no current because that is not enough. There is not enough to make a current in silicon diode. Silicon diode needs at least 0 0.7 or more than 0 0.7. Here you have less than 0 0.7. So it is not enough to make the current, right? So since 0 0.5 is not enough to make the current, so there will be no current. So ID will be zero. If ID is zero, that means your resistance current will be also zero. So VR should be I into R. VR is I into R. So I is zero, R is 1.1, 1.2. So your VR should be zero. So if your VR is zero, so your VD should be equal to 0 0.5 volt because according to the Kirchhoff voltage law, 0 0.5 volt minus VD minus VR should be zero. Since 0 0.5 volt minus VD minus zero so your 0 0.5 volt will be equal to vd let's let's check let's see the solution also the pressure establish a current with the same direction as the arrow symbol the diode is forward bias still it will not uh, make any current because the voltage was not enough so same direction as the any symbol at, at a level okay um, the point of operation of the characteristics is shown in figure 1.17, establishing the open circuit equivalent as the appropriate. Okay, you do not have to write everything there because the only thing you have to understand the diode was in forward bias, but still it will not take any current. Why? Because the voltage was not enough to make any current. So your ID is zero. Your ID is zero. Your VR should be I into R. ID into R, that means 0 ampere into 1.12, 1.2 equal to 0 volt. So according to the Kirchhoff voltage law, your VD should be equal to E, that is 0 0.5 volt. So that is the math. That is the math you have seen there. Now let's do one more. Uh, I promise to take, I promise to do three, but let's see another one. Because we have some time, let's see another one. Yeah, this is one interesting one. See, determine the VO and ID for the series circuit of figure 2.19. VO and ID for the series circuit. VO and ID. What is the circuit? This is the circuit. Here, you have two diodes. One is silicon. Another one is LED. This is LED. How do I know it is LED? Because there are two arrows. Arrow means light. It is emitting light. So it is LED. So one silicon diode, another one is light emitting diode or LED. The normal LED you see. This is a red LED. Remember, red, green, blue, white, yellow, they have different, different voltage. Silicon diode takes 0 0.7 volt. 
but red LED takes 1.8 volt. Here it is written. 1.8 volt. Green takes 2.1 volt. Blue takes 5 volt. White takes uh, maybe 4.1 volt. I forgot. So there takes different different voltage. Here it is written. The an attack similar to the applied of the example of 2.4 reveals the resulting current. Okay, do not write all those. Uh, do not write all those. Now here, here for silicon you need 0 0.7, for red you need 1.8, but your supplied voltage is more than that, way more than that. That means it is.